right. Gotta do some paperwork. So we are at Boy Nature Park in uh, Fairview, Tennessee, and uh, I'm gonna do some trail riding. So to uh, to ride out here, it's uh, two dollars a day, but there's a whole lot of miles worth of trail out here. So we're gonna get in here and see what it's all about. All right, this way. Not exactly like a greenway. Here's a nice little section, flat, soft, no rocks. Good thing I brought the one with the fat tires instead of the, the hybrid. Nice pine forest through here. All the pine needles that make for a nice path. A nice section here but of course wherever there's downhill it's going to be uphill again <sighs> yeah you definitely want to have a good bike for this one you don't have those skinny tires on this on this path Two miles. <laughs> Through the creek. Through the creek. probably getting close to mile four and this is about as uh, flat and non bumpy as it gets they got a squirrel nice little coaster right here nothing real crazy Here. 
this way. Power line. Nice little fast road right here. Four miles. All right, let's see what we got here. According to that, we're just over four miles. We're parked over there on the other side. What's up, geese? Got to find another way around to the car. Pretty cool, huh? The trail doesn't connect back around, so you've got to take a road back around to where you originally parked. There is a, a walking trail, but they won't let you take your bike on it. We just did the red trail. Uh, now we're going to do this green trail. I'm not sure how far around it is altogether, but uh, that's what I'm going to do next. So we should see some cool lakes while we're on it. Yeah, we'll just go down there. So we're going to cross the dam right here. And we're going to catch the green trail. Cool little lake there. Okay, the first loop is the Loblolly Loop, the one mile. So far, this one is nice and easy. Much less rugged than the perimeter trail. There's another little lake or pond right down in there. This is uh, the Loblolly Loop, if I can speak, the Loblolly Loop. So, time to go up. Now this section here has been pretty nice. The Loblolly Trail. Check this leg out. Right, you can see there's a little bass right there. And there's a bluegill, another bluegill. A lot of bluegill in this little pond. Well, I did see one little bass in there. Alright, completed that loop. Yeah, so that's Hidden Lake right down there. Alright, now we're going to do the Twin Lakes loop. Here's one of the lakes. So this is the split. That lake's that lake looks just a little bit dry. All right. Nice lake. So this is Twin Lakes. This is one of them. There's another one right over there. 
So now I think we'll take that blue trail, which is right through there. I'll take that blue trail, we'll cruise along here, and then we'll return, and we'll come back over there on that side of the lake. That'd be cool. We'll do that. I have a feeling this is gonna be a little rougher than the one we were just on. This is it. Yep, this is it. it. Looks more like a foot trail than a bicycle trail, but I did say that any of the colored trails you can take a bike on, so that's what we're doing. There's tall trees there. All right. White Pine Trail. Bluff Connector. It's just a little short trail. I think we'll go on out. Let's keep on rolling through the green tunnel here. trail another 0.5 and then from there I think it dead ends into the uh, perimeter trail so that's just going out and coming back and then we continue along might as well go out and tag the perimeter trail and then come back well I said that shut the camera off pedaled a few feet and then here's the perimeter trail so Gonna head on back because we've already done all that. The old bike's making some funny noises. I think I may have beat it up a little bit too much today. As long as it'll get me back. We had a bridge. Okay, we're coming up on the other side of that lake. So. All right. Boy Scouts built that bridge. So that's where we were parked right over there a while ago, by their picnic table. So the trail went back way back there now it comes back around so there goes the horse people so so they were just telling me that horses kind of freak out when they see the bicycles but as long as the people on the bicycles are talking then they don't suspect anything weird but if the horse just sees a bicycle come rolling by it, it freaks them out so uh, I guess if you're ever out on a bicycle and you see a horse uh, just stop you know good 50 feet or so from them uh, you know talk let them know you're human and uh, it keeps the horses calmer so so yeah good to know that they want to don't want to freak out any horses and have them throw a rider or something like that so Good advice. So this is the other lake. This is just one end of it. 
the other lake is just right over there, like literally 100, 200 feet away. All right, so twin lakes here. We just did the blue trail all the way up to the perimeter trail, came back this way, and uh, so now we're back here at the lakes again. That was where we crossed over the little man-made dam there. So this is where we're at. So that's Lake Anna and uh, Lake Bird. Yeah, so, yeah, so we're right here. We're going to go up. We're going to hit this uh, Stark Springs Trail. And bring it in. And then take the perimeter trail, that little section right there, back over. All right, check it out. It's funny. This one right here calls it the Stark Springs Trail. You know, as in Tony Stark, you know, Iron Man. Over here on the phone, it calls it Sycamore Springs Trail. It's the same trail, but with a different name. That is so funny. So, we're going to do the uh, Sycamore Stark Springs Trail. How about that? All right. Let's see what the sign says. The name of this place is. Okay, that's the little Turnbull Trail. So there it is right there. Okay, the sign says Stark Springs. So I don't know what my dumb phone is thinking. All right, so there we go. So we'll just call it the Iron Man Trail. Tony Stark. Wow, nice and rocky. All right, so uh, I just passed another woman with a horse, and of course I pulled up and stopped him plenty of time like I was supposed to, and she said, oh, thank you so much. And we was talking about how really they should keep the horses and the mountain bikes separate because it does freak the horses out. And, uh, It's getting progressively rockier here. But uh, anyway, she asked me to talk to the horse and she gave me some treats to feed the horse so that the horse would understand it. Just cause I got this weird thing that I'm riding on does not make me scary. So that way the horse can, uh, you know, learn that, you know, when it sees a, a, sees a, a bike, that it's not something to freak out about. And which was a big thing for me too because horses are big animals and they kind of freak me out a little bit too so that was good for me and the horse so I was explaining to the horse that this is my horse that's a cool bench right there look at that okay in recognition of John and Jerry Stark. Okay, so the Starks are one reason why this park is here to begin with. John and Jerry Stark. Cool. All right. Thank you, Starks. All right. Back on the perimeter trail. Parking lot this way. All right. This is one of them, put in your lowest gear and stand up and pedal your ass off up this hill. Ooh, good Lord. That's what hills out here. Boy Nature Park, that's uh, Fairview, Tennessee. Uh, definitely come out here and do this one if you're ever through or in the area or something like that. Uh, the uh, perimeter trail is a pretty tough uh, uh, bike path, you know, you know, relatively speaking, compared to like greenways and stuff like that, or even crushed gravel. Uh, you saw how that was. Uh, some of the others, a little bit flatter, uh, you know, pine needles down, you know, pretty nice.
but uh, uh, you'll definitely want a mountain bike if you're gonna come out here and do this kind of stuff uh, I would not suggest anything like a hybrid or a 10 speed or anything like that you definitely want some uh, some mountain bike tires on your bike to handle some of this stuff uh, I was the the last half mile or so I was hearing some kind of weird creaking sound and I was trying to figure out what it was and just about the time I got to the parking lot I realized what it was my uh, handlebars were getting loose so when I get home I'm gonna be tightening them things up so uh, uh, good thing that uh, I caught that uh, you know before I went out and did something else so uh, that worked out perfectly definitely come out here and check this place out it's really cool some great hiking out here uh, horses just you know if you're on a bike you know be careful of the horses you know don't don't freak them out so if you like the video uh, you know hit the like button comment all that uh, come out here and check it out for yourself see y'all next time later oh you know where you're done yet